Well, joining us now on set, Beth Chambers is one of uh, the busiest ladies in the archdiocese. <laughs> uh, she uh, heads uh, Catholic Charities South, and she also works uh, very hard in her parish, and uh, mm -hmm. we're so happy to have you here on Thank uh, you. This is But today. you're so calm. Though. Yeah. How do you yeah. remain calm? <laughs> What's your secret? Because my phones are over there. Oh, <laughs> leave the phones over there. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, your work at Catholic Charities. You, you've been with them mm -hmm. now for about 20 years? Now? 20, this is my 25th year now. 25th year, wow. Yeah. Congratulations. I, uh, I'm down in the Brockton office. Uh, I started at Catholic Charities actually as a volunteer in a, a, a soup kitchen that we ran in, in Dorchester and then moved into, into different positions over the years, always working with uh, the people who came to us. And, and two years ago, I was asked to be the director um, of the South Region serving Norfolk and Plymouth counties. So I'm, I'm down there full time now. Oh, great. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Catholic Charities is the, the largest private network of social services in the United States. Right. And it's really something as a Catholic community that we should be very proud of. Absolutely. And so mm -hmm. if, if people are watching and they, you know, get a, an envelope asking for help, you know, why is it that people should support the work of Catholic Charities? Because we are the, the social service arm of the church, yeah. and then at the same time, the number of people who come to our doors in all of our different regional offices uh, is increasing every day, mm -hmm. and the services that we provide to people are, are so varied in our offices. Um, my office, for example, I have ESL classes that run day and night. I have a nursing assistant program that is the, right now three classes running at the same time, eight weeks long, and the people who go through this program go right into jobs. Mm -hmm. um, the, a nursing assistant or a home health aide, uh, they're the number two and three jobs right now that have the openings and have people that can go right into these positions. So they come, they take this course, they pay the money, and, and right away they get a job. Um, nice. Our food pantries, we have six different food pantries in, the, in our different regions. We have um, help for, with bills and, and utilities and rent when we, you know, when we have the donations available to do that. So we have any number of different things. And on, on top of it, we were just talking about the summer camp run by Catholic Charity Sunset Point in Hull. Um, so it's, it's all year round. It's all different ages. It's all different people. Uh, and when people come to our doors, it's not, you know, it's not who they are, it's what they need. And, and we're able to do that. And I, I looked at a situation that happened yesterday. A, a mother came in with a three-year-old wrapped in a blanket. And it just, just said, all she said was, he needs a coat. And, and with that, we were able to go into the, some of the stuff that was left from Christmas. Um, that we got from from an organization and and this child left with a coat and hat and mittens awesome. and, a, and a sweater and um, it, It's one it was it's one of those situations. You don't expect it But when it happens you the, this family walked out the door and we didn't the first thing that we all said was God is good mm -hmm. that we were able to help um, because of the generosity of mm -hmm. other people and you very active in your parish as well, and yeah. uh, maybe if you could talk about that and how important it is, um, you know, to be a presence in the mm -hmm. parish. Well, we live in West Roxbury, and I, uh, I go to Holy Name Parish with Father George Carlson and Father Oscar Pratt. And when I, when I was growing up, I was not involved. It, you know, we went to church, we went home, that was it. And now um, I, I love what I do. So I'm a Eucharistic minister and help with the hospitality. And now as, as our parish is uh, merging and, and the collaboration is happen happening with Sacred Heart and Rosendale, I'm working on that committee. Um, and I love doing it. Now, Monsignor George Carlson, okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh -oh. he hasn't been on going my, <laughs> going my way yet. Oh. And we have some fans of going my way here today yes. in the studio audience. <laughs> yes. So you, you might want to, you know, in passing, just encourage him. I because Father that. Oscar Pratt has, has been. Has been, yes. But Monsignor Carlson has not. Okay. So just a little thing. I'll work on that. Now, a couple years ago, Beth, mm -hmm. you were honored with a very special award. You probably don't want to talk about it, but we'd love to hear about it. Could you tell us? Well, it was um, the... Uh, the, the Ruffin Award, which was given at the James Augustine Healy Award dinner, um, which I have been 
involved with for many, many years because my husband uh, worked in the office for black Catholics for a long, long time ago. And it, it, it's an award that's given to individuals who help out in the community and, and to do things to make the community better. And, and so when the, the call came from Lorna DeRose, I, um, she, she said, I want to talk about the Ruffin Award. And, and I said, well, hold on just a minute. Let me get my ear on the phone. And, and she said, no, it's, it's for you. And I'm like, no, I, um, I don't get awards. I, I just do my work and I'm, I'm happy with that. And, and, and my husband gets the awards. And, and so it was, um, it was a shock, but it was one where um, I still, I, don't, I think after two years, I'm still not used to it. But well, congratulations. Um, I love what I do and that's why I you deserve continue it. to do it. You Thank deserve you. it. You're a <laughs> great you. example. Thank you. Pope Francis would be very proud of you. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, uh, Beth, for being with us today. Thank you. And uh, maybe just uh, before we leave, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if people want to find out more about uh, helping out Catholic Charities, sure. where would they go to that? Or sure. Just... Well, we, we have a website, mm -hmm. and that is www.ccab.org. Um, and then we have uh, a number of different regions. Uh, you can find us, of course, on um, the Catholic Charities website, and then our main telephone number at Catholic Charities Downtown is 617-482-5440. Uh, my number in Brockton is 508-587-0815. It's a great, great memory. <laughs> <laughs> when we don't know telephone numbers. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks much, Beth. Thank you, my pleasure. It's great to be with you.